In front of me, I have a complete array of spectrophotometers. Have you ever wondered why there are so many options out on the market today? Come with me as we take a shallow dive into the world of spectrophotometers. I'm Bob Miller, Color Services Manager here at IT Supplies, and today we are going to talk about spectrophotometers and how they help your print shop in a variety of different ways. In front of me is an array of different spectrophotometers. Each one serves a purpose. So over here, we start off with some higher end spectrophotometers that are used in usually in print production. These are primarily designed uh, by Teshcon, x ray and others to actually take spot color measurements and they have a display so they can show you LAB values and compare samples one to another. Um, as you go up in price, you have different capabilities. Uh, they can interface some of them through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other technologies. There's also spectrophotometers that look like this that have a spherical shape and will be great to use on things that are not smooth, uh, like fabrics and other solid substrates. Um, as we move over, you'll see I have a couple of small devices here. Uh, one is the NYX and one is the Epson spectrophotometer. These devices are really great at doing quick spot color measurements and again, uh, for validating uh, one sample to, uh, from production to your initial, uh, your initial sample. Um, so you can compare and contrast, you can get the data, find out the delta E, which is the difference between the two colors, and all of that is done via a smartphone technology like an Android or an Apple with these. One unique thing about the Epson is you can actually upload profiles into their cloud and you can actually see where that color that you're sampling is going to print, uh, if it's going to print, within the gamut of your printer. So you'll know that before you even start printing. Um, as we move over here, we actually have profiling devices. Some are very simple and basic. You can do a very small chart, uh, or you can actually go, as I go from my left to right, um, you actually go up in capabilities. Uh, the I1 is probably the most common one that you see out in the market. We sell these. Um, it is a fantastic device. We typically do charts of 800 patches or so to 1800 patches. Ideally, the more patches, the better. It helps you dial in your color. By scanning in these charts, you're able to create profiles that help your printers accurately print uh, each of the uh, images that you're looking to render. Um, as we move over, we have uh, the Barbieri devices. These are a little bit more expensive, but uh, are often worth it. Uh, as you step up, you've got a scanning device, um, the SpectroPad, and then finally you have the big guy over here. This is uh, the Barbieri Spectro LFP QB. Um, so this has the unique ability of being able not just to handle reflective measurements that come from paper or uh, flat substrates, but it can actually do transmissive. So if you have clear acrylic uh, or if you have textile, this is the preferred instrument for doing all of that. So I hope that this gives you a little bit of information about the different types of spectras that are on the market. And certainly I encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. When it comes to printing and color management, IT Supplies is here to help your business succeed.